One-man commission uh, inquiring into the land grabbing in Goa has uh, has today heard the complaint filed by Prabhu uh, who has arrived yesterday from the United States to submit his affidavit today before the one-man commission. So his affidavit has been today submitted and the special investigative team will file their affidavit on the 23rd. So the commission has adjourned this matter against the Mandra MLA, Jeet Arolkar, uh, to, to the 23rd. Uh, in fact, the complainant, Mr. Raulu Kalap, who is uh, from Mapsa, but uh, based in California, has uh, filed a detailed affidavit today before the commission as to how his uh, property, of which he is a co-owner, and measuring uh, one lakh forty-eight thousand square meters in Dargal has been uh, get, grabbed by the now uh, Mandra MLA, uh, Jita Rolkar. We have also in our affidavit submitted that Jita Rolkar, being a uh, MLA and politically very influential and uh, and supporting the government, that the SIT has been dragging their feet in this investigation. The, nobody can be above the law. And we expect this uh, SIT at least to finally get their act together and bring Jeet Arolkar to book for the crime that he has committed of grabbing this land of a senior citizen. So the matter will be now heard on the 23rd of this month. So do you like to say something? For your case, Dikari. So I just want to know that uh, last time when we spoke with the uh, MLA, so he uh, he he told us that he have. Uh, purchased the this land only hardly the few part of the land has been uh, left no uh, he, what he has done is basically bought everything out from uh, the other partner and divided into 200 plots and i don't know how he got permission to build roads electrical just think the land has not been converted and he has just taken up upon himself to convert the orchard into uh, a colony. So you have not sold him? Huh? No. So what will be the further? Uh, see, the, see, Mr. Raulu Kalap is the co-owner of that property. So what Jeet Arolkar has done, he has taken a power of attorney from one of the co-owners, which is illegal. You know, because it is a co-owned plot uh, at measuring 1,48,000 uh, square meters, which has not been not been subdivided. So all this uh, and even Jita Rolkar in this same matter had moved the High Court to quash their fire. The High Court by an order dated 1st of March uh, this year has, uh, has dismissed his petition and has asked the SIT to continue with the investigation. Now the SIT has been active in other cases but uh, as expected in this case due to political interference it is dragging its feet. This we will not allow because uh, Jit Arolkar has to be brought to book for the crimes he has committed. Uh, what about the other person who, who was the partner with him for the land? He has been called or summons? No, no. Or is there any investigation on him? No, that is the investigation that the SIT has to do because uh, Mr. Raul Kalab is uh, co-owner of the property. Yes. So unless all the owners agree, that property cannot be sold and that pro property cannot be, cannot be developed. So, uh, did you have uh, spoken with your co-partner, another partner? No, he disappeared as soon as I came in this country. He disappeared, he and his father. He never called you anything? No. Nope. Nothing? No. So, what Jit Arolkar was expecting, that uh, Mr. Raulu Kalap, who is based in, in California, will never show up here. So, finally, the law has caught up with the, the illegalities done by Jit Arolkar. Thank you.